The Comptroller General of Immigration, Babandede, on Wednesday, the 27th of January 2021, in a joint stakeholders dialogue meeting held at the Nigerian Immigration Service Headquarters, Abuja, said that the collaboration with other stakeholders will help in curbing human trafficking and smuggling of migrants in the country. Babandede, while speaking at the press briefing, described trafficking as a humanitarian issue to be tackled thoroughly with combined efforts of agencies, like the National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, and the Nigerian Immigration Service, NIS, to fully eradicate the scourge and also the smuggling of migrants, if not totally, but to the barest minimum. He also said human trafficking is a major issue all over the world and has now re-emerged with a more insidious form as humans are now commoditized and objectified in slavery and has assured that both women and children will be protected in this course. The new development is coming at a time where both agencies see the need to further deepen the synergy and existing relationships, all in a bid to effectively and efficiently stamp out human trafficking and smuggling of immigrants. It has been estimated by the NIS that over 100 million enslaved people have been taken out of Africa. Owing to this, the recently appointed NATIP Director General, Iman Suleiman, while showing her appreciation, stressed that there is a strong support from the national agencies. Going forward as an agency, she said, there is a need for societal approach and every hand must be on deck, as the focus will be on growth and preventive measures to attack this problem from the root. She also thanked the Comptroller General of the NIS for his support, saying that they are committed as a team with a renewed vision to ensure they work with all the stakeholders. We'll continue to work with the five strategic approaches of policy, prevention, protection, prosecution, and strengthening partnerships. Our main areas of um, collaborations have been work workable syn synergies with partners, joint law enforcement operations, intelligence sharing, and referrals. Other areas of immediate collaborations is on aligning our data. As far as the fight against human trafficking is concerned, we've ha we have our data flying all over the place, so it is, our, it, is our, it is a commitment for us to have it all in one place so that for proper data referencing. We have the political will to take this fight beyond where it is, and we're going to take full advantage of that. We are focused on building capacity and manpower development in NAPTIC. We need all the support we can get in that area. The Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Rauf Aregba Sola, who is represented by the Comptroller General Immigration, Mohamed Babandede, had advised conducting proper investigations and recruitment agencies for detailed reports on any migrants so as to keep a proper database. His speech was titled, We Can Defeat the New Slavery. Data from the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime uh, uh, that 79% of human trafficking is for sexual exploitation and involves women and girls, while 18 percent is forced labor. It is sad to note that 20 percent of the victims are children. It has also been noted that in part of Africa and West Africa in particular, the figure could be up to 100 percent. The federal government comprehensive address in this 2015 Immigration Act, that law addresses and satis uh, satisfied the requirement of the United Nations Protocol against smuggling of migrants by land, sea and air supplementing the United Nations Convention Against Trafficking uh, Transnational Organized Crime, also known as the uh, ONTOC. A more inclusive approach will be to monitor immigration, especially those traveling abroad through recruitment agencies. These agencies should be licensed and background checks be made on the agencies. They should also be required to submit periodic progress report on any Nigerian they recruited for work abroad. There should be a mechanism in place to raise red flag and launch investigation whenever positive reports are no longer coming from migrants. The foreign countries' government should therefore be notified. Where sharp practices are noted, the agencies and their personnel should be blacklisted. The sad reality is that more difficult to handle once the victim is outside our shores. This is why trafficking should be before the victims are taken out. 
it is also important to make use of the media to, uh, to publicize cases, agencies and models of randi of traffickers. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. Also, the representative of the Italian ambassador Sebastiano spoke about the relationship established with the NIS in Italy aimed at eradicating human trafficking. Excellent uh, relationship. We signed together uh, working arrangements for the mutual cooperation and the standard operational procedure for the deployment of uh, two officers uh, of NIS uh, in Italy. Uh, and uh, we really appreciate the efforts of NIS in fight illegal immigration, uh, in fight uh, uh, smuggling of uh, migrants and uh, uh, human trafficking, especially under the, the leadership of the, the Controller General, uh, Mr. Babandel. So we need to cooperate a lot with the NAPTI and we are sure that the new Director General will bring uh, a new wind to the, to, to the agency and that the renewed partnership between uh, NIS and uh, NAPTIP will improve the international cooperation and the achievements against the human trafficking. Due to the physical distancing, a large number of personnel joined virtually the Assistant Comptroller Generals of the Nigerian Immigration Service from various zones, Command Comptrollers, all regional directorates and all zonal commands of the National Agency of Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons were also virtually in attendance. The Canadian Embassy, German Embassy and Netherlands Embassy also joined the stakeholders meeting virtually. The EU delegation and the UNHCR. Also in attendance were the Swiss Ambassador to Nigeria, George Stenner, the Deputy Ambassador of the United States Embassy in Nigeria, Kathleen Fitzgibbon, the representative of the Minister for Humanitarian Affairs of the country representative, United Office of Drugs and Crimes, Olivia Stolp, the representative of the Italian Ambassador, Sebastiano Bartolotta, and the Chief of Staff to the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management, Adima Aut Okon, all providing insights into developmental policies aimed at preventing human trafficking and the smuggling of migrants, to come up with a sustainable approach to prevent and eradicate human trafficking in Nigeria. The real causes of human trafficking and irregular migration must be addressed, living standards must improve, and opportunities made available, especially to the vulnerable communities that are targeted by organized crime.